What's going on everybody? Ratchet Wrench is back for another video today. We got my 2017 Dodge Ram 1500 with the 5.7 Hemi. We're going to be doing an oil change on it. It's at like 13% on the speedometer where it gives you the percentage of how low you are. So haven't done one in a while. Figured we give you guys this content. Also this applies for most other Hemi vehicles which is awesome. So if you guys have like a charger or anything else with a Hemi engine this can apply to you. So we hope you enjoy this video. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Uh, check out our merchandise store. We just uh, made some new designs. So we got some other designs on there, sweatshirts, shirts. Um, check out our Instagram for sneak peeks, behind the scenes content, cool pictures, stuff like that. But without further ado, we'll jump right into this oil change. All right guys, we're kind of running out of daylight pretty quick here. So we'll make this video fast. Uh, we just got back from AutoZone. So we got Penn's oil, 5W20 conventional oil, as well as the filter. Uh, you'll also need a funnel, a nice socket set here, you're going to need an oil change pan as well. Um, and it could get a little messy, so you might want to get a couple sheets of cardboard or just a blanket or something that you don't care about just to cover if you got a nice driveway or an area you're doing this in. Last but not least, this is optional, but this is a creeper, um, just makes ease of access under the truck uh, so you're not ripping up your knees or anything like that, so let's jump into it. All right, so first step, you're gonna to wanna to pop the hood here and take this engine oil cap off, which is located for this truck right here on the right side of the plastic piece. Now, it depends on your vehicle, could be located on the left or just different spots. So locate this and just put it out of the way for now. You're gonna to wanna to open this to create a passage for airflow, just so when you drain the oil, it goes quicker and more efficiently. So step two, you're gonna to wanna to crawl under the truck. And in my case, I put two pieces of cardboard near where this is going to drain. You're going to want to locate the drain plug, which is right here, and it is a 13 millimeter. Uh, so you're going to get your ratchet in the 13 millimeter socket and just break this loose. All right, step number three, you're going to want to get your oil drain pan and slide underneath and get it into position. So when you loosen the drain plug, it's going to go right into this pan here. All right, so once you have the cardboard and the drain pan positioned correctly, you're just gonna wanna hand thread this off nice and easy. Make sure you put a little pressure towards it because it will come shooting out. You don't want this to fall into here. This pan specifically has kind of a catch layer, so this will not go through into the oil. The oil will go into a bottom layer, and then this will be, if you did drop it, you can retrieve this. So nice and easy until it's completely off, and then the oil will come right out. Just like that. So while this is draining, uh, real quick, I forgot to mention, you're gonna wanna get either paper towels or some kind of rag that you don't care about. I picked these up at uh, AutoZone, my local auto parts store. Now these are pretty good because they can absorb, I was just drying the drain plug off a little bit, but they absorb the oil and you can get multiple uses out of them versus a paper towel where it's pretty much one use and you gotta throw it out, so. And if you wanna pick these up, we'll put everything that we're using in this video down in the description below so you can click the links and go get them. All right, so the next step, you're gonna wanna wipe this off a little bit and then take your drain plug and um, just temporarily put this back on for now. So we're gonna slide this a little bit towards the front because we're gonna take the oil filter off next and there's gonna be excess oil. So you're gonna want something to catch that oil with. So that's where the oil filter is. It's hard to see, but there's really no way to film it while he's under there because there's only room for one person. But he's gonna turn off now. Once you break the seal, it's gonna start leaking. So just be ready to catch it. And you want to be careful once you take the oil filter down. Obviously, it's gravity fed. So in the oil filter, in the can itself, there's going to be some oil in there. So just be careful not to turn it over or you're going to make a mess. All right, while Wes is under there getting the uh, oil filter down, I'm going to prime the new filter. You just want to take some of the new oil and just rub it around the gasket so you get a nice seal. So when you go to remove it later, and however many miles it is, it's not going to be stuck on and like seized on. This just gives it a nice proper lubrication so you can get it off. All right, guys, once the oil filter is primed, uh, the next step is just to lightly hand thread it on. And you're going to want to not do too tight, but snug. Because um, if you do it too tight and it strips, you're going to have a lot of issues. So we'll get into that now. All right, so once you got the oil filter on pretty snug, uh, just carefully pull the oil out with the filter and... You can take a paper towel or a rag, and we like to use brake cleaner just because it evaporates pretty good, and just spray the area lightly and carefully and uh, dry up any oil that could be on the, the frame or any of the piping down there. So once the oil filter's on and you got that area cleaned up, don't forget to 
come back to the strain plug if you haven't already and make sure you tighten it up pretty good. Uh, don't go too tight, you don't want to strip it again, but once you got that tight, we'll move up and add the oil. All right, so we're on to the final step, adding the oil. So get your funnel in place here and open up the oil. You're gonna to wanna to pour it on kind of a sideways angle to avoid it kind of burping and potentially making a huge mess. So nice and easy, just pour it in. And we have a pretty tall funnel, which is good. If you have a shorter one, you might have to pour it at intervals, but I'd recommend a tall funnel. All right, we just finished up the five quart. Now you're just gonna to wanna to add the last two quarts to make it a total of seven. Good job of doing math. So that is the final step for the actual oil change itself, adding the oil. Uh, just remove the funnel, kind of tap it around, get any loose ends off, put the cap back on. Nice and snug. And now we're going to reset the light and show you guys how to do that inside and Make check sure. for leaks as well. All right, we're gonna start the truck up and then he's gonna check for leaks real quick. So there's no leaks coming from the uh, oil pan. Now I'm gonna check the oil filter and then that should be it. So the truck is on, there is no leaks underneath. I'm gonna show you how to reset the light inside the truck now. So you're gonna to wanna to push the left arrow on the steering wheel. This will bring you to the regular menu, main menu here. You're gonna to wanna to scroll down to vehicle info and click your right arrow. So this is the oil life screen. As you can see on the right is kind of a scale bar on the very top is good and bottom is changed. I was at 13%, so I definitely needed this. So on the left hand side, it says reset with the right arrow. So basically you're just gonna hold the right arrow. To reset engine must be off with ignition and run. So we're gonna turn the engine off. So once the vehicle is off, turn the key to the on position, go back to your main menu in the oil life screen, and then you're gonna to wanna to reset, so hold the right arrow, and you're at 100%, and easy as that. All right guys, that's a wrap for the 2017 Dodge Ram 1500 oil change with the 5.7 Hemi engine. Hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, this can, applies to other Hemi vehicles as well as the new Dodge Ram, so if you have those vehicles, I hope this helps as well. So if you guys are new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you enjoy this type of content, feel free to subscribe, check out other videos. We got a lot of content coming up this week and next week more to come all through September. And then uh, hopefully we'll keep busy through the rest of the fall. But until next time, Rotch Wrenches out.